we are now going to take a time to focus on the application level of the communication systems framework. So once again, here is the communication systems framework. The actual application level is this top level up here. And primarily, this is where the participants and users are involved. Okay, so this is the section we're going to be focusing on in this video. So at this application level, okay, basically, as mentioned just before, this is where the participants and users are involved in the either creation or reading of the message within the communication system. The message, okay, is basically seen at the source and it is seen at the destination, okay, by the participants or the users, okay. With the source, this is where the message originates from. So in the example of an email, the message is generated locally, okay, on the use of a device such as a laptop or a mobile phone, okay. So if this was an email, okay, you could either type it up on your phone, okay, or you could type it up on a computer and create that message. So hence the source is where the message is either created or is where it originates from. Because in the case of a website, it might be the server where the website is actually saved to. So they've created the website and they've saved it to a specific server online. And then that's where it needs to be accessed from, okay, at the source for people to view it on their own computers. Okay, so next we have the destination. Okay, the destination is where the message is intended to end up. So once again, in the case of email, it'd be the specific recipient's computer. The person who you're sending the email to is the, where the destination is. Okay, it is their actual mobile device or their phone. Okay, that is the destination. Okay, they will access it by going using a uh, client um, email software in order to view the actual email message. Okay, now. If in, it is the case of a website, okay, they will use it through web browser software, okay, and obviously they will be using the HTTP protocol, or if it is through a secured website, is using the HTTPS protocol because it has the secure sockets layer on top of it, okay. So that is all viewed at the destination. So essentially what we need to know is that the destination is the system where the message is intended to go. In the case of an email, it is who the person has addressed the message to. In the case of a website, it is the user on their computer accessing the website through web browser software. Okay, so we need to also make sure that we understand at this application level the different protocols being used. Okay, so we've got HTTP, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which is used for viewing websites. SMTP, which is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, which is used for emails and SSL, the secure socket layer, which is used in conjunction with HTTP and appears as HTTPS in web addresses, adding security layer. So I hope this gives you an understanding of the application level of the communication systems framework and essentially how it's the end that the users interact with in both creating the message or accessing the messages that they're requesting or have been addressed to them.